Hey everybody, uh, it's Daryl McCullough again. I want to uh, thank you for joining me for another unboxing of African art. Uh, I got a problem with this one because I have a notice on here. It says, received in damaged condition. So this is the first time that I have got that. So I don't know what's going to uh, be inside here when I open it, but bear with me. Okay. Well, um, okay. just bear with me. Nervous, I'm nervous. Okay. The first item is a older chihuahua couple and of course you see here the the horns this here a lot of people think is a horse uh, it's an older style variation of the chihuahua because the original chihuahua is a combination of an art bark and an antelope so this is one uh, this is pretty cool and I don't see any damage on this. This um, horse packed from my buddy Maurizio in Senegal, Africa. And this here, I'm gonna lay this down. This is from his personal collection. This here is a fang mask. I have one in the basement I got from Harlem, New York from a book fair. Uh, but it's definitely not like this. This looks fantastic. And uh, there was also Picasso, the artist, of course, got a lot of inspiration from Fang Mask. Uh, that's no secret. So um, I'm going to open up this, this other one and just see. Hopefully that, that's, uh, there's no damage on that. And I can clean these pieces up and take them in the house. This package took, oh, I'm gonna say about 26 days with the coronavirus and everything. It's really slowed down a lot of things. Uh, I hope everybody's uh, safe and uh, healthy. So I'm gonna Check this out. Almost there. Huh. Okay. There's 
the other one. Looks good. I don't see any damage. So the Chihuahua pair, male and female, uh, the variation, the, the, the older uh, one, it, it, it looks great. This looks great. So the, just in case they're not level, I don't want them to fall. Okay. And the fang mask. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this. I'm going to clean these up and we'll meet back in a little bit and I'll show you what they look like clean and when I stage them in the house. Be back in a minute. Voila! Hello, Daryl. Yes, we are live from uh, Senegal, from Dakar, Senegal. That's Maurizio. And here is my friend from Mali. That's his gallery. That's my friend from Mali. Yeah, you can show yourself here. Voila. Hey. Hello. Hello. Oui, bonjour. <laughs> voila. So we are here to introduce a couple of different pieces from Bambara culture. And actually one of the pieces is from Bozo people in Mali. The first piece, it's a chihuahua. It's different looking chihuahua. And it looks like a horse, but it's a common chihuahua. It, it's like the, the normal chihuahua, half antelope, half aardvark. There are two, two animals here in Africa, so it's a mythological antelope. It's a mythological being here. And uh, it is used like a, a net crest like that during harvest ceremonies. That's a very beautiful piece with long horns, antelope horns here. And you can notice that the woman is in front because Back in the day, women were very important for fertility, and they were considered like goddess. That's the first piece, Chihuahua, horse-like. Second piece is here. I have to stop the video from my friend Maurizio because he was uh, showing the second part of the shipment, and I haven't got that yet, so I just stopped it right there. Uh, when he was talking about the couple before, he talked about the uh, next package that I'm uh, getting, which will be a surprise. So I'm looking forward to that. So the Chihuahua pair is staged on my 1920s sideboard. Uh, and the dishes on there from my late Aunt Ernestine. Hope you can hear me over the air conditioning in the basement. It is like, oh, 90 degrees here. So you can see that they're staged and there's another mask that I have from Burkina Faso and a few Bali masks. And there is the Fang mask. It's staged next to another one uh, and another mask from Burkina Faso down on the end. But there's the Fang mask. I think it looks pretty good there. So I uh, hope you enjoyed this video. Again, one more last shot of the Chihuahua pair stage. I think I'm gonna leave them there. I may put them in another location, but for now, I'm gonna leave them right there. So you have a great day. Take care.